السلام علیکم لیڈیز اینڈ جینٹمین امبیسڈر سرور نقوی ڈاکٹر سید جاوید خوشی ڈسٹنگوشڈ ایکسپرٹس آئی ایم پرٹیکولرلی ڈیلائٹڈ ٹو سی ا لارج نمبر اف ا نمبر اف ویمن امنگس دی گروپ ٹوڈے وی نیڈ مور ویمن ان دس ایریا لیٹ می جسٹ ٹیل یو دیٹ وین وی ہیڈ دی پریزیڈنسی اف دی کانفرنس ان دس امنٹ ان 2016 We had a special seminar on, on women in diplomacy, and I think that has reminded everyone in the CD continues to remember that seminar. I thank Dr. Salma, who's here today, for having been there and to have presented uh, uh, the face of Pakistan as a woman who's, in, who's dealing with issues that are strategic and are in the context of arms control and disarmament. The push came, of course, I thank uh, uh, Mr. Should I call you Mr. Mr. Khaled Benori for, for having recommended her? And I think it was a big success. I see all my, some of my old partners, collaborators, and friends here. And I'd like to recognize especially Ambassador Tariq Usman Heather, who has been a consistent spirit within the Ministry of Foreign Affairs on, on issues relating to arms control and disarmament. And, has, and not only that, pursues Pakistan's agenda assiduously with great wicker and we thank him very much for his commitment, continuous commitment in this regard. Because at the last seminar I spoke, I was told people couldn't hear me at the back. It is a pleasure for me to deliver the keynote address in the seminar. I thank the Center for International Strategic Studies <coughs> for organizing this event on a subject of great contemporary relevance and very topical because, as you said, the OPCW is going to be in session, Council is going to be in session end of the month. Since its entry into force in April 1997, the Chemical Weapons Convention represents a remarkable success story in the field of multilateralism and disarmament. The Convention has a seminal contribution to the advancement of international peace and security. This is clearly manifested by the fact that with 192 states parties and with the destruction of 90% of all chemical, declared chemicals, chemical arsenals worldwide, CWC has one of the most effective disarmament treaties in the world history. CWC draws strength from its comprehensive and non-discriminatory approaches towards disarmament. Pakistan has actively participated in the negotiations to finalize the text of the Chemical Weapons Convention in the Conference on Disarmament ever since Pakistan's accession to the CWC in October 1997. As a possessor state, the government of Pakistan has continued to faithfully implement all its national and international obligations under the Convention. Under the CWC Implementation Ordinance of 2000, a CWC national authority was established in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and, and CWC Implementation Rules were subsequently notified in March 2010. We remain fully committed to the objectives of the CWC and continue to actively and constructively participate in OPCW's work including all events organized by the organization. Since the inception of the organization, we have some very important Pakistani diplomats and professionals who worked with the OPCW Secretariat as well. And I take this opportunity to, to, to recall uh, Ambassador Shabazz, who unfortunately passed away, uh, Ambassador uh, Azhar Chaudhary, as well, Azhar, Azhar Ilahi, and uh, many others, who, and, and, and Ambassador Shoka Tumar as well. Ambassador Shoka Tumar was one of the amongst the first to work with the, with the Secretariat. So we have not only participated and contributed in the, in the discussions that led to the convention, um, it was our delegation that worked very hard. Ambassador Munir Akram was in the lead at that time. To, uh, to have the convention adopted by this, the, the CD. Uh, Pakistan has also regularly served as a member of the OPCW's 41-member executive council since 1998, 
We have contributed to the work of the OPCW Scientific Advisory Board and OPCW's Advisory Board on Administration and Financial Matters and acted as the facilitator for CWC's Article 11 dealing with international cooperation and assistance for the peaceful uses of chemistry. With the active collaboration of OPCW, Pakistan has hosted several regional and international capacity building courses, including the Advanced International Assistance and Protection course. Under its National Protection Program, which was declared in accordance with Article 10 of the CWC in 2005, Pakistan has pledged adequate quantities of chemical protection equipment which could be utilized by the OPCW in the case of chemical emergencies. We have constructively participated as member of OPCW's Assistance and Protection Network Group and also shared our national experience under OPCW's National Authority Mentorship Program. Based upon our, upon our expertise, availability of specialized equipment and requisite infrastructure, Pakistan decided to establish a regional CWC assistance and protection center in Islamabad, which was formally inaugurated by the Director General PCW during his visit to Pakistan in 2015. I'm confident that this regional center would continue to play an important role in further improving the expertise and sharing of best practices between CWC, states parties for South Asia, Central Asia, and the Middle East. It is an exemplary center and is quoted for its excellence everywhere. Under CWC provisions, the National Authority continues to successfully facilitate routine inspections of our declared industries by OPCW. Our premier ChemBio Defense Institution, DESTO, has established a chemical protection research laboratory which has achieved the status of OPCW designated laboratory. Pakistan is also proud of the outstanding contribution of all our competent nationals who have served their respective tenures in various divisions of the OPCW's technical secretariat in the Hague which I've already referred to their names, some of their names. We look forward to further strengthening this contribution. Ladies and gentlemen, the recent reports of chemical weapons use in Syria and the Salisbury incident serve as a reminder of the threat of proliferation of weapons of mass destruction and their means of delivery. Pakistan remains strongly opposed to the use of chemical weapons anywhere by anyone under any circumstances. The international norm against chemical weapons needs to be preserved and further strengthened. In this regard, we strongly believe that the OPCW should be enabled to investigate in an independent, objective and professional manner the recent incidents of chemical weapons use and the perpetrators, whoever they are, should be brought to justice. There should be no impunity for the use of chemical weapons. Consistent with Pakistan's strong commitment to the objective of non-proliferation, we have instituted effective mechanisms for, the expo for export controls, as well as safety and security of sensitive nuclear, chemical, and biological weapon materials. In this regard, Pakistan has been following the standards adopted by the various multilateral export control regimes. Our national control lists and guidelines are consistent with those of the Nuclear Suppliers Group, the Missile Technology Control Regime, and the Australia Group. It would, however, be pertinent to reiterate that international non-proliferation efforts should not hamper free exchange in chemicals, technology, expertise and services for genuine economic activities and industrial uses in the developing world. I hope that this seminar will enable the participants to develop a better understanding about the CWC and its implementation challenges and come up with practical suggestions to enable Pakistan to not only improve its standing vis-a-vis -vis the CWC, it has excellent standing, if I may let you know, but also actively contribute to international efforts for promoting the objectives of a chemical weapons free world. To close, 
let me tell the women who are present here today that Pakistan, uh, we were the first woman uh, chair of the uh, certain uh, conventional weapons con uh, convention meeting that was held in Geneva. The first woman from a developing world and the first woman from Pakistan to chair it. So you should be proud of that. And we were also very proud to have a woman as chair, as president of the uh, of the CD, the Conference of Disarmament. So there's a lot that women are doing, a lot that women can continue to do. And I assure you all my male colleagues, you'll find them very smart and very effective professionals. Thank you very much, Ambassador, and thank you very much for your very patient listening. I wish you all success in this conference.